Tigo Tanzania is the leading innovative telecommunication company in the country, distinguished as a fully-fledged digital lifestyle brand. Offering a diverse product portfolio in voice, SMS, high-speed internet and mobile financial services, Tigo has pioneered innovations such as Facebook in Kiswahili, Tigopisha app for Android and iOS users, Tigo Music Deezer, and East Africa's first cross-border mobile money transfer with currency conversion. With over 11 million registered subscribers to their network, Tigo directly and indirectly employs over 300,000 Tanzanians including an extended network of customer service representatives, mobile money merchants, sales agents and distributors. Tigo is the biggest commercial brand of Millicom, an international company developing the digital lifestyle in 12 countries with commercial operations in Africa and Latin America and corporate offices in Europe and the USA. History In 1993, there was liberalization of telecommunications sector in the country which resulted in the dissolution of Tanzania Posts and Telecommunications Corporation in early 1994. Mike Tanzania Limited was granted a license November 30, 1993. The corporation was a joint venture between Millicom International Cellular based in Luxembourg, Ultimate Communications Limited of Tanzania and Tanzania Posts and Telecommunications Corporation. In this venture, 27.7% of the issued share capital was allotted to the Ultimate Communications Limited and Tanzania Posts and Telecommunications Corporation. Mobitel The company began operations in 1994 under the name Mobitel and launched Tanzania's first cellular analog service. In 1998 the company expanded significantly and began pre-paid service under the brand, Simu POA, and began issuing pre-paid cards under the brand, Kadi POA. In 1999 Adesemi Tanzania another telecommunication company operating in the country was acquired by Mobitel and it gave Mobitel customers access to the company's private automatic branch exchange networks. At the time Mobitel was the first company in Africa that provided subscription-free Internet services under their Mobinet. Brand.In September 2000, with a partnership with Ericsson Mobitel launched its digital GSM network in Dar es Salaam. Both networks were run simultaneously, with the GSM network in the cities and the analog network in rural areas. The GSM network was marketed under the brand, Buzz, while the analog network remained under the, Kadi POA, brand. The analog network was continually phased out and was eventually shut down in September 2005. In February 2004, Mike's parent company Millicom International Cellular took over the 26% stake from the government to control 84% of the company's equity. Rebranding to Tigo In February 2006, after buying out its minority shareholders, the Luxembourg-based pan-African mobile operator Millicom International Cellular announced to take a full control of three of its African-based mobile operators including Mike Tanzania Limited. In Tanzania a US$1.332 million United States dollars deal enables Millicom to acquire the remaining 16% stake it did not already own after the Selco's minority shareholders agreed to cancel their call option on the business. Since then Millicom is the full controller of the company, after this takeover the company rebranded the company from Buzz to Tigo in line with the company's operations globally. Since then the company has been at the forefront of innovation and has grown its customer base tremendously. Mm 
Topic: <laughs> Initial public offering. In December 2016, in accordance to the government law, Tigo Tanzania applied to list the company on the Dar es Salaam Stock Exchange. Mobile services Mobile money Tigo like all telecommunication brands in Tanzania operates mobile money services. Currently Tigo operates the second largest network and subscriber base for mobile money services in Tanzania. In 2014, the company became the first company in the world to share its profit with its subscribes through mobile money. The company issues quarterly dividends to customers based on their daily balance in their mobile wallet. Tigo Pesa also became, in 2014, the first in Africa to provide a fully interoperable mobile money service network, that allowed its customers to trade money between Vodacom, Airtel and Zantel. The service also extended to Tigo in Rwanda and the company was the pioneer in East Africa's first cross-border money transfer mobile wallet product. The gateway allowed customers in Rwanda and Tanzania to send money to Tigo customers in the respective countries. Topic: 4G LTE. In December 2015, Tigo Tanzania launched 4G LTE services in Dar es Salaam. The company was the first in the country to bring 4G and 3G speeds to its customers and possibly one of the first companies in Africa to provide LTE services. Statistics <laughs> 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 The table below shows the number of subscribers Tigo has in December of the year based on figures by Tanzania Communication Regulatory Authority. Carat Asterisk reports numbers as of December 2017. Topic: See also 3G technology.